So hello, now we start our German language. Today, I will, I think you know this one already. One is eins. Two is zwei. This zwei is zwei. Three is drei with D. Drei. Four is vier. Like as if you are fear, you want to fear somebody. Fear. Fünf, five is fünf. Five is fünf. Five, that is fünf. You can see the spelling. Please make sure you know the spelling. Six, that is sex. Sex, like like in sex. Sex. Don't forget that in German, S is pronounced like Z. So instead of sex, it will be sex. Sex. Seven is sieben. Sieben. Eight is acht. 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 You let the C and H follow it. Acht. Nine is neun. Nine is neun. And ten, this one is a bit difficult. In German, Z is like T S. Ten, ten, ten. Ten is ten, not ten. Ten, ten. Ten is ten. This is very important because when we are talking about thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, you are going to be dreizehn, vierzehn, fünfzehn, sechzehn, siebzehn, achtzehn. 19. Yes, that's why you have to know this pronunciation of 10. So let's conclude this one. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn. So we continue alphabets. Today we talk about 11. 11 is elf. That is easy. 11, elf. 12 is like 12 in English, but it is 12. But you can see say 12, they will understand you. From 13 to 19, it's just say dry 13, dry 10. That is 3 and 10. Dry 10. 14, fear 10. 15, fünf 10. 16, 6 10. 17, zip not sieben, zehn, but zip, zehn. Eighteen, ak, zehn. Nineteen, neun, zehn. And twenty, zwanzig. Zwanzig. So let me repeat it again. Eleven, elf. Twelve, twelve. Drei, thirteen, drei, zehn. Fourteen, vierzehn. Fifteen, fünfzehn. 16, 16, 17, 17, 18, 18, 19, 19, and 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. So, I continue the German language now. So now we are not going to talk about the 21, 22, 23, 200. But I'm going to tell you 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 20, as I told you, is 20. Then, as on 20, 30 is 30. 40 is 40. 50, 550 is 50. 60 is 60. 70 is 70. 80 is 80. 90 is 90. And hundred is hundred. The secret here is you just have put tish behind the letter. If it is four, forty will be fear tish. If it is five, eight. If it is five, fifty will be fourth tish. So if it is six, sixty will be third tish. Seventy will be zip tish, not zibin tish, zip tish. 80 will be actish. So let me start again. 10, 10, 20, 30, 4, 50, 
Tisch, sechs Tisch, Sieb Tisch, acht Tisch, neun Tisch, and one thousand is thousand. I did not include the other part here, but let me just talk about it. If you want to talk about twen uh, 21, you will say 1 and 20. That is 1 und 20. That is 21. If you want to say 22, it will be 2 and 20. 2 und 20. If you want to say 24, it will be 4 and 20. That is 4 und 20. 26 will be 6 und 20. If you want to say 64, it will be 4 und 60. 64 will be 4 and 60. 4 und 60. If you want to say 75, it will be 5 und 70. That is 5 and 70. 5 und 70. You call the other letter first before you call the main one. You don't say 75, it will be 5 and 70. So if you want to say 32, it will be 2 und 30. So let me give a test now. What will be 67? Have you thought about what 67 will be like? You don't put the 60 first, you start with 7. So it will be 7 and 60. That is 7 und 60. So try what will be 48. That will be 8 and 40. That is act on 40. So try 91. Let me make it easy. 91 will be 1 und 90. That is 1 and 90. 1 und 90. Thank you very much. So now we are going to talk about the days of the week. Don't forget in Germany, in German, day is tag. So you expect to see tag at the end of everything. As, as you have in Monday, Monday, you have day at the end of everything. The only exemption is Wednesday that does not have a tag, but we will come to that. So Monday is bone tag. The easy ones for you, English speaking, will be Monday, Friday, and Sunday. Which is, Monday is Montag, Friday is Freitag, Sunday is Sonntag. And so Monday, Friday, and Sunday, you will not have a problem. But let me start from Monday. Monday is Montag, Tuesday is Dienstag, Stag, Dienst. Stark. That is Tuesday. Dins Stark. Look at the spelling. Dins Stark. Wednesday is a bit more difficult because there's no Stark. Men Wednesday is Mit Voch. Mit Voch. Mit Voch. That is Wednesday. Mit Voch. Thursday is Dona Stark. If you think of Dona Kebab, you can think of Dona Stark. Thursday is Dona Stark. Dona Stark. Friday, as I told you, is easy. Friday is Freitag. Friday is Freitag. Saturday is Zamstag. 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 And Sunday is Zontag. Very easy. Zontag. Zontag. So, Monday, Montag. Tuesday, Dienstag. Wednesday, Mittwoch. Thursday, Donnerstag, Friday, Freitag, Saturday, Samstag, Sunday, Sonntag. Now you have to repeat it. If I say Monday, you say the German word. Tuesday, you say, so let's start. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Very good. Thank you. I think you know this one before, but we will still talk about it. Good morning. That is Guten Morgen. That is morning is Morgen. Morn in German, morning is Morgen, and tomorrow is all also Morgen. So don't allow it, allow it to confuse you. So good morning is Guten Morgen. 
Good afternoon. It is guten tag. This guten tag also means good day. So you can greet guten tag in the afternoon, which means good afternoon or good day. So good afternoon is guten tag. Good night, guten nacht. Good night, guten nacht. I think you know this one. So tell me good morning. Tell me good afternoon. Tell me good day. And tell me good night. Thank you. Bye bye. In German, when you want to tell person bye bye, see you later or see you again, you either say choose, bis später, or of Wiedersehen. Choose actually means bye bye. Bye bye, that is choose. That's the spelling. If you can also tell a person bis später, that means until later. See you later. Until later. Bis später. That is until later. Bis später. Then this the popular word people say of Wiedersehen. People use it to mean bye bye, but it, it normally it usually means see you again. But you can say of Wiedersehen. So the three ways you can tell person bye bye is choose you can say bis später or you can say auf wiedersehen thank you bye bye now let's start making small small sentences one very common sentence you need to know is what is your name that is in german wie heißt du wie heißt du that means what is your name they can you can be asked the highest do or somebody can ask you the highest do or you can ask person to the highest do that means what is your name another other common question that can come up in german as you need to know is what is this was is das was is das that means what is this was is das I think you know this once before, but it's good you see the spell, the writing, and you know how to use it. Then, another other common question you need to know is, what do you want? In German, that is, was willst du? Was willst du? So, let me repeat it again. What is your name? The heißt du? You can reply, my name is Rachel, or ich heiße Rachel. But you can say ask other people to the highest do. Then if you want to say what is that, you say was is das. Then what do you want? Was wills do. Was wills do. Now you have to learn to make short short sentences. And to make short sentences, you know how you need to know how to start. For a beginner, you don't need to make long sentences. I want cake. I would like shoe i have money i can dance i am okay i know my way those short short sentences is what you will you will need so i want to tell you what is i want i would like if you want to say i want it means i ish will i want is ish will if you want to say i want to eat ish will essen i want to sleep I will schlafen. I want to go. I will gain. I will. That is I want. I would like. It's also almost like I want, but with more respect. I would like is ich möchte. Ich möchte. You can say, I would like to eat. Ich möchte essen. Or I would like to dance. Ich möchte tanzen. I would like to sleep. Ich möchte schlafen. Or I would like to go. Ich möchte gehen. I have means ich habe. I have. Ich habe. I have a son. Ich habe ein son. I have a doctor. A do doctor. Ich habe eine Tochter. I have money. Ich habe Geld. I can. It is empty. Can is can in German. Ich kann. 
I can do it. Ich kann es machen. I can go. Ich kann gehen. I can dance. Ich kann tanzen. Easy. Then I am means ich bin. I am okay. Ich bin okay. I am Nigerian. Ich bin Nigeriana. I am black. Ich bin schwarz. So I am is ich bin. I know means ich weiß. I know you. Ich. No, that, that does not play here. I know what you are talking about. Ich weiß, worüber du sprichst. I know everything. Ich weiß alles. I don't know. Ich weiß nicht. Now I know. Yet ich weiß. Yet, that is now. Yet is weiß. So it's good you know this most more thing. Ich will, that is I want. Ich möchte, I would like. Ich habe, I have. Ich kann, I can. Ich bin, I am. And ich weiß, I know. Now we continue on our sentences in two. Can I have? Normally that means can ich haben. But this one is a bit confusing. In English, when you say can I have my bag? That means can ich habe meine Tasche? But that is not correct. In German, the my bag will come before the haben. So can I have my bag will be can ich meine Tasche haben. Can I have 10 Euro? Can ich 10 Euro haben? Can I have you? Can ich dich haben? So you must put whatever you want before the haben. Can I have my son? Can ich mein son haben? So that one is a bit difficult. Another thing you need to know, please give me. Please is bitte. Give is give. On mir. Please give me. Bitte give mir. Bitte give mir. Please give me my son. Bitte give mir my son. Please give me money. Bitte give mir Geld. Please give me book. Bitte give mir book. I think that is okay. Where is? I think you know this one. Wo is? For example, where is hospital? Wo is Krankenhaus? Where is my daughter? Wo is meine Tochter? You add whatever you want to add to it. Then another question you need to ask people is, do you know, that is, vice do, for example, do you know post office? Vice do post. Or do you know Alanis? Vice do Alanis or Kens do Alanis. So do you know is vice do? Or sometimes you use Kens do, it depends on if you're talking about a proper noun. Then another thing I need that is ich brauche. I want is ich will. We have talked about that one before. But I need ich brauche. I need money. Ich brauche Geld. I need to go. No, no, it does not come in there. I need my daughter. Ich brauche meine Tochter. I need love. Ich brauche Liebe. So I need is ich brauche. Then if you are go, if you are in the town and you are looking for direction, how can I come to, for example, post office? We we come ich zu post. So how can I come to? That is we. Come ich zu, then you add whatever you want to add, post, or wie komme ich zu Hause, oder wie komme ich zum Kindergarten, oder wie komme ich zu Supermarkt, wie komme, how do I come to, you add it to the end. My name is Rachel, you can say it in two ways, you can either say, my name is is Rachel. My name is Rachel. Or you can say, Ich 
heiße Rachel. Ich heiße Rachel. So when somebody asks you, wie heißt du? You can answer, my name is Rachel. Or you can answer, ich heiße Rachel. Wie heißt du? Ich heiße Rachel. Wie heißt du? My name is Rachel. Both of them are correct. They can still ask you, wo, woher kommst du? That means, from where do you come from? Where do you come from? Or aus welchem land kommst du? From which country do you come? You say, I come from Nigeria. That means, ich komme aus Nigeria. Not Nigeria. Nigeria. Ich komme aus Nigeria. Or they can ask you, what is your nationality? You want to say, I am a Nigerian. You say, ich bin eine Nigerianerin. Because you are a woman, you say Nigerianerin. If it is a man, ich bin ein Nigerianer. But because you are a woman, eine Nigerianerin. So, my name is Rachel, or ich heiße Rachel. That means my name is Rachel. Ich komme aus Nigeria. Ich bin eine Nigerianerin. So let's go back to basic words, which I think you already know. So this one will be fast. Man is man. Woman is Frau. Look at the spelling. Frau. Boy is young. Girl, Mädchen. Son is son. Daughter is Toshta. Grandma is Oma. Grandpa is Opa. Uncle is uncle and auntie is tante. So that's the only one that will be difficult for you there. Auntie is tante. So the rest, I think you already know that one before. Let me skip it. So let's talk now about some items you use in the kitchen. Cup. Drinking cup is tasse. 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 Plate is teller. Teller. Teller, spoon, loafel, loafel, that is spoon, loafel, fork is gabel, 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 knife, mesa, mesa, tray, tray, used to serve food, is tablet, pot, is top, top, with, with tea, top, pan, any kind of pan is funny. Funny. But frying pan, frying pan is brat funny. Brat is to fry. So brat funny. So try and learn all these things because you use them a lot in the kitchen. Cup, tasse, plate, teller. You can say Alan is give me a teller. If you want a spoon, Alan is give me a loafer. Anna, please give me a gabel. That is fork. Knife, mesa. Pot, top. Pan, fane. And frying pan, brat, fane. Let us talk about, about things to do. To wash is washen. In German, W is pronounced like V. So it will not be wa 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 washing. It will be washen. It must be washen. That means I would like to wash. To bath is duschen. That is to take shower. Is duschen. To shower is to douche. Duschen. It must be duschen. To drink is trinken with tea. Trinken. It must be trinken. It will trinken. To eat is essen. To sleep is schlafen. I think you know all these ones. To dance is dancing with tea. Dancing. To go is gay. I want to go. Ich will gehen. I am going to the town. Is ich gay in the start. To go is gehen. To write. Schreiben. Schreiben. Please, can you write your name? Bitte. Can't do dynamic schreiben. I have written my name. Ich habe my name geschrieben. 
I will not write. Ich will nicht schreiben. Ich will nicht schreiben. That means I will not write. I don't want to write. So to see is sehen. It's like Z. Z, 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 N. Ich sehe, ich sehe dich. I see you. Ich habe es gesehen. I have seen it. Ich habe es gesehen. Es is it. Ich habe es gesehen. That means I have seen it. To hear is hören. Hören. I have heard it means ich habe es gehört. I hear, I don't want to hear. Il will nicht hören. To hear is hören. I want to hear. Ich will hören. I want to hear your voice. Your voice is deine Stimme. I want to hear your voice. Ich will deine Stimme hören. Also, to hear is hören. To sit is sitzen. To sit is sitzen. But there are two ways of sitting. You can sit down and you can sit up. To, to sit down is hinsetzen. Hinsetzen. That is sit down. To sit up is off sitzen. Off sitzen. But the normal one, the most commonly used one is to sit down. Bitte hinsetzen. Or setzen. If you don't want to use anyone, you can say setzen. You can say hinsetzen. Or when you want the person to sit up, you say off sitzen. Then to stand is stehen. Stehen. To stand is stehen. Ich will stehen. I want to stand. Ich will stehen. I want to stand up. Off stehen. Up is off. Off stehen. Like you wake up in the morning. Off stehen. Mommy, mommy. Off stehen. Let me stand up. Stand up. So stand up is off stehen. So today we talk about, let's talk now about colors. I think you already know them. White is vice. White is vice. Black is schwarz. Black, schwarz. Brown is brown, like English. Brown is brown. Blue is blue. Blue is blau, sorry, blau. Blue is blau. Yellow is gelb. Yellow is gelb. Red is root red is root pink is rosa pink is rosa please note that one is a bit different from english pink rosa purple is lila purple is lila purple is lila orange is orange almost like english orange not orange orange the green is green Green is green. Green. Then gray is grau. Gray is grau. Gray, grau. So now we are going to talk about parts of the body. Head is kopf. Head is kopf. Kopf. Neck is hals. Neck is hals. Shoulder, I didn't write it here. Shoulder is shoulder. Shoulder. Shoulder is shoulder. Hand is hand, like in English too. No difference. But leg is bind. Leg is bind. Bind. Leg is bind. Your abdomen, which is what people call stomach, your tummy, is bauch. When Alan is say, I, ich habe bauch schmerzen. That means I have Abdomen pain. Schmerzen is pain. Ich habe Bauch Schmerzen. I have abdomen pain. So Bauch is uh, abdomen is Bauch. Chest is bruised. Chest is bruised, but also breast is bruised too. So when someone say I have bruised Schmerzen, you mean he has chest pain. So chest is bruised. Eyes, that is organ. Eyes, organ. Nose, 
Naze. Nos is naze. Ear is or. One ear is or. Two ears is oren. Two ears is oren. One is one or. Two ears is uh, oren. Then mouth is mund. Mouth is mund. And teeth is tsene. Tsene. Tset is you pronounce like T and S. Tsene. 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 One tooth is tan. One tooth is tan. But the plural, many tooth, or that is teeth, is tsene. To teeth is tsene. So now we talk about the popular places you visit, which are this, some places like school, church, market, post office, bus stop, petrol station, supermarket, hospital, pharmacy, bank, and ATM. School is shule. School is shule. Church is kieshe. Kieshe. Church kieshe. Market is marked. Market is marked. Post office is post. When you say I am going to post office, is get to post. Or I am going to market, is get to marked or in the marked. Bus stop is bus for bus. Haltestelle that is stopping point. Bus haltestelle. The halt is like halt in English. Stop. The stelle is the point. So it's bus stopping point. Bus halte stelle. That's the bus stop. Bus halte stelle. Petrol station. They call it tank stelle because tank is where you tank for your car. And the stelle is the place. So they call it tank stelle. That means the place where you tank. So petrol station is tank stelle. Supermarket. Supermarket. Since market is marked, supermarket is supermarket. Supermarket. Hospital, Kranken House. Hospital, Kranken House. Pharmacy is apotheke. I think you know that one. Bank is the same thing as bank. Then ATM is guild automat. Guild is money. Automat is for automatic. So, guild automat. That means the automat where you collect money. It, if you are going to take money, you say, it's gay to guild automat. Or you can ask somebody, bite, vo is guild automat here. That means where is uh, ATM here. So, guild automat. Other things you need to know, like you things you need in the bathroom. I already told you, teeth is tene, but one tooth is tan. Tan. So toothbrush is tan bruste. Brush is bruste. So toothbrush is tan bruste. Toothpaste is tan pasta. Because paste is pasta. So toothpaste is tan pasta. Alan is the so the three words above come from brush is bruste, paste is pasta, and tooth is tan. That is why toothbrush is tan bruste. Toothpaste is tan pasta. Then douche, to shower is douche. Gel, gel is gale. So shower gel is douche gale. So when you go to supermarket, you say, I want shower gel. You say, ish moste douche gel. That is shower gel. So the one used to shower. Douche gale. So let us make some sentences again. You may be asked or you may want to ask somebody some questions if you want something. Do you want? That means wills do. For example, do you want to eat? Wills do essen. Do you want to write? Wills do schreiben. Do you want to dance? Wills do tanzen. Or would you like, that is almost titanium, but this one has more respect. Would you like to eat? Most test do essen. You will notice that 
there's always a st at the end because it is do most tests do essen do you want to sleep most tests do schlafen do you want to write most tests do schreiben do you want to sleep most tests do schlafen or you want to ask somebody if he can do something can you dance can't do Tanzen. Can you play? Can't do spielen. Can you sing? Can't do singen. The next one is a bit more difficult. Do you think that? Denks thinking is denken, denken, denken. But do you think denks do das? Do okay. Do, for example, do you think? that this is post office thanks do that this is post or do you think that alanis is four years thanks do that alanis four years alt is so thanks do that that is do you think names of animals dog dog is hund hund Cat is katze, katze. Cow is koo, koo. This rabbit, this they call it hare. This one they run around in the bush. They call it kaninchen, kaninchen, kaninchen. Goat is tsigen, tsigen, tsigen. Horse, horse, horse is feared. Fed, you forget about the P, you just pronounce it with F. Fed, fed. Giraffe is giraffe, giraffe. That's giraffe. Camel is the same thing, camel. Camel is camel. Snake is schlange. You can tell person you are a snake to be any schlange. They tell the person, some people that you don't trust. You say, this my friend is Aine Schlange. That's my friend is a snake. That means he's very corny. So snake, snake is Schlange. The snail, the snail we eat is Schnecke. 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 So dog is hund. Cat is katze. Cow is koo. Hare, that's rabbit, is kaninchen. Kaninchen. Goat is tigen. Horse. Fed. Giraffe is giraffe, camel is camel, snake is schlange, schlange, schlange and snail is schnecke, schnecke. We talk about some fruits now. The common fruits like orange, apple, banana, uh, banana, pineapple, strawberry, grapes. Orange is orange, orange, orange. Apple is up fell. Up fell, up fell. That is apple. Up fell zaft. That is apple juice. Up fell zaft. Pineapple is ananas. Pineapple ananas. Banana is banana. Strawberry is ed bear. Strawberry ed bear. That is strawberry ed bear. Then grape. Grape is those small fruit that the alan is the that green green one they lick. Is, that is water inside. They call it trauben. Trauben. Generally, fruits are called fructe. Fructe. The salad is salad. So I think these ones are not difficult for you. Apart from strawberry, that is Ed beer. Grapes, trauben. So now you want to go somewhere and you need to tell somebody where you are going. I am going to the that means ish ge in di. Ish ge ge he in di. Then you put where you are going to. For example, if you are going to town, ish ge in di stadt. Town is stadt. Ish ge in di stadt. Or ish ge in di supermarket. Or ish ge zum post. Or ish ge ins kindergarten. 
if you are going to doctor is gay tum at at or is gay tum kinder at if you are going to see kinder at so is gay means i am going then you can add in d or two it depends on where you are going so is gay to nona is gay in the start is gay in olab you may go somewhere and you are asked what you would like to eat and you want to say i would like to eat with a rice meat fish beans or bread the only difference here is i would like is ish moshte but whatever whatever you want to eat will come before the essence it is very important learn it i would like to eat rice you do not say ish moshte essence rice no is most a rice essen i would like to eat meat is most a flesh essen i would like to eat fish is most a fish essen i would like to eat beans is most a bonen essen i would like to eat bread is most a brot essen i would like to eat ice cream is must a ice essen so rice is rice meat is flesh fish is fish beans is bone in bread is brot ice is ice was the different spelling so is must a rice essen is must a fish essen that's how you say it now let's talk more sentences now where you don't want something how do you say it if you say if you don't want to eat i don't want to eat you do not say ich nicht will essen no i will nicht essen i will nicht that means i don't want i will nicht essen that means i don't want to eat you can just say ich will nicht that means i don't want but if you want to ex ex say what you don't want you say i will nicht essen If you say I don't want to go, he will nicht gain. To go is gain. We have talked about that before. He will nicht gain. I don't want to dance. He will nicht tanzen. He will nicht tanzen. That means I don't want to dance. I don't want to sit down. He will nicht hinsetzen. He will nicht Hindsetting. Don't forget will. You can also change it to must. Will and must they are almost the same thing. Must they have more respect? This is will nicht essen. You can say is must nicht essen. That means I would not like to eat. Or is will nicht gain. You can say is must nicht gain. I don't want is will nicht dancing. You can say is must nicht dancing. Or if I is will nicht hindsetting. It must have mis nicht hinsetzen. You can put it like that. Some other things we need in the kitchen. Pepper is fefa. Fefa. Tomatoes is tomaten. That is, I think you already know it. Salt is salz. Salz. Sugar is zucker. Zucker. Onions. Zwiebel. Zwiebel. Honey is honish. Honish. I think you know all these ones. Other things you will still need in the kitchen like milk, milch, milk is milch, bread is brut, water is vasa, egg is i, one egg is i, plural when you have more than one, two eggs or more is aya. If it an ich will ein i or ich will zwei aya. Jam is mamalade. And cheese is kaze. So let's talk more about kitchen. Meat, meat is flesh. That is the spelling. Flesh. Fish is fish. Chicken, chicken is henchen. Chicken is henchen. Soup. I didn't write it here. Soup is zupen, zupe, zupe. Then. Please take note of this. Soup is zuppe, and 
Foul, that's one at the end. Foul is huna, huna, hun. That's foul. Then the plural is huna. One is hun. So since zupe is soup and hun is foul, soup foul is zupen hun. That is one you people call super hun. Is zupen hun. So zup, I should have written it. Sorry, I didn't write this. So zupen hun. That is the soup chicken. So beef. Beef is rind. Rind. Sometimes they say rind flesh. That is beef meat. It's rind flesh, but beef is rind. Pork is swine. Pork is swine. Turkey is puten. Puten. Turkey is puten, or you say puten flesh. Swine flesh. Duck. Duck is ente. Duck is ente. Pig is swine. The fowl is hun. Fowl is hun. And more than one is huna. Now let's make some more sentences. Somebody calls when I'm not at home. And um, you want to tell him I, you are, I am his wife. Please call back later. I am his wife. Ich bin. Ich bin. That is I am. Seine Frau. Wife is Frau. Ich bin seine Frau. That means I am his wife. Ich bin seine Frau. Ich bin seine Frau. Please call back later. Bitte ruf später an. Bitte is please. Ruf is call. To call with telephone is unruf. Später is later. So please call later. Bitte ruf später an. Learn this please. Ich, ich bin seine Frau. Bitte ruf später an. You can say, my man is nicht da. That means my husband is not around. My man is nicht da. Ich bin seine Frau. Bitte ruf später an. Choose. When you are talking about calling somebody on telephone, it is unroofing. But if you are calling somebody like I call you now, come here, Alan is come here, it's roofing. So when I will say somebody, I will call you. Ich werde dich anrufen. That means you are going to call the person on telephone. Ich werde dich anrufen. That means I will call you. Or if you want to say, please call me, that is on telephone. Bitte ruf mich an. You can see they have separated the an from the roof. That is how they do it sometimes. Bitte ruf mich an. Please call me. Bitte ruf mich an. If you want to say, I want to call my father. Ich will mein Vater anrufen. You see, this has changed a bit now. I want, that is evil, to call now has gone to the end. Your father has come to the middle. Ich will mein Vater anrufen. Ich will mein Vater, ich will mein Mann anrufen. That means I want to call my husband. Ich will Richard anrufen. I want to call Richard. Ich will Alanis anrufen. I want to call Alanis. So please learn this one. It's still very important. So let's talk about sentences again where is my gift i know you know gift is geschenk you know where is wo you know east is east and mine is mine so where is my geschenk wo is mein geschenk where is my gift wo is mein geschenk where is my daughter wo is meine tochter where is my money wo is mein geld where is my food Wo is my essen? Where is my bag? Wo is meine Tasche? So this wo is very important to, so that you know how to add other sentences to it. Wo is, where is Nigeria? Wo is Nigeria? Where is my love? Wo is meine Liebe? So you can add many things to it. Today is my birthday. Today is Oite. Heute is mein Geburtstag. I think you know this one. I don't need to talk about that one. Heute is mein Geburtstag. Sometimes they ask you, how old are you? I mean, the alt beast do. 
Ja, wie alt bist du? Wer der ist very fast. Wie alt bist du? You want to say I am 10 years old. Ich bin 10 Jahre alt. Ich bin, that is I am, 10 Jahre, that is 10 years old is alt. Or ich bin 20 Jahre alt. Or let me test you again. If you want to say I am 64, how do you say it? Oh, you have forgotten. You bring the four first and put and. 64 will be ich bin 64 Jahre alt. If you want to say I am 27, ich bin 27 Jahre alt. You understand? So you put the, the just like English, ich bin 10 Jahre alt, ich bin 40 Jahre alt. I mean, when they ask you, wie alt bist du? Ich bin 38 Jahre alt. Oder ich bin 44 Jahre alt. Oder ich bin 20 Jahre alt. That's how you answer this, this kind of question. So, let's come to some few things you need to know. Today, as we talk about this heute. I think you know that one. Today is heute. Tomorrow is morgen. Tomorrow is morgen. And morning again is morgen. Morning is morgen. Tomorrow is morgen, too. So don't I like to confuse you. Most of them mean the same thing. Next tomorrow is uber morgen. Uber means above. Uber morgen. That is next tomorrow. Uber morgen. Yesterday is gestern. Yesterday is gestern. Gestern. The day before yesterday. That is before gestern. Or you say for gestern. Since yesterday is gestern, the day before yesterday is before gestern. That is for gestern. For gestern. Tomorrow is morgen. Next tomorrow is uber morgen. That means above tomorrow. Uber morgen. Week is woche. I told you before. Week is woche. Month is monat. Monat. And year is ja. Yeah, one year, ein Jahr, two years, zwei Jahre, three years, drei Jahre, four years, vier Jahre. Now, let's talk about some small, small words. Big is gross. Small is klein. You know what these ones? Fat, fat woman, dick. Fat, anything fat is dick. Thin, anything thin is dun, dun, old. You say cook, cook man, the dicke Frau. Tell me, look, the fat woman. Or cook man, the dune Frau. That means look, the thin woman. Long is lang. Oh, you say this this story is long. This a Geschichte is lang. Or this your trouser is long. Deine Hose is lang. Short is quotes. Quotes. You say, please make it short. Put a mark as quotes. Or the man is short as quotes or as Klein. I should say Klein for man. It's cool, but short is quotes. Then tall for a tall man. The man is gross. The man is gross. That means the man is tall. Then beautiful. Beautiful. You can say huge. Oh, that's Clyde is huge. I mean, the Clyde is beautiful. That's Mitchell is huge. That the girl is beautiful. Or you can see yes, use Sean. That's Clyde is Sean. That means the Clyde is beautiful too. Or the that's Mitchell is Sean. So you can use huge or Sean. Both of them means beautiful. Then sweet. Sweet. When you're talking about sweet in terms of food, you use lecker. Oh, the food is sweet. That's essence by lecker. Oh, this is what you want to use if you are talking about taste. Mm, how um, tasty? Mm, mm, this is too sweet. That is zeus. Too, zeus. too sweet. It's too, I mean, uh, sugar. That is too means there's too much sugar in the cake. You see, I man, it is it is too zeus. So, but when you want to say it, it is, uh, if you want to say you enjoy the taste of the food, you say it is lecker. Well, if one does it, it's too sugary or it's too salty. It's too zeus. 
then bitter is bitter. No difference. Now let's just talk about some few words. Before. Before in, in, in German is the same thing as English. Before is before. Or you can say for. If you want to say his house is or go before is the same thing. Then front. Front means forne. Forne. F. It sounds like F, but it's V. Forne. You say, Vobis do. Where are you? Forne. My house. That is in front of my house. Back is hinten. Vobis do. Hinten dear. That is behind you. Hinten dear. Behind is the same thing as uh, almost the same thing. Hinter. Hinter dear. Behind you. Back. Where are you? Vobis do. Hinten. Then house that's behind in at the back of your house. Then under is unta. When you say where is uh, Alan is, you say unta that's bed that is under the bed, or unta them tish that is under the table, or unta means under. Then above is uber, above or over. Is uber anything above more than is uber left is links leave links they say voice post say links right is rest when they say voice is a uh, bank say rest then you want to say go straight you say gerade house gerade gerade house that is straight out straight straight gerade house you have to learn this one very important but they say it very fast. Gerade house. Gerade house. That means gerade house. That means a straight street. Some other things you need to know. Like shirt. Shirt is hemmed. Hemmed. Shirt. The kind of one I wear to work. It's hemmed. Trouser is hose. Trouser is hose. Socks. Zocken. It's with S. But it's probably with like Z. Zocken. 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 Dress. Dress is Clyde. That is the dress that goes, for, woman dress that goes from up to down. It's Clyde. Clyde. Blouse is Bluze. Bluze. Jacket is Yake. J in German is pronounced like Y. You don't say Jacket. You say Ya Yake. Like Y. Yake. Yake. Skirts. Skirts. The one women wear, they call it Rock. Rock. Then brazier, they call it B B H. That means B H. Actually, it means Bruce halter. That means breast holder. But they call it B H B H B H. So voice mine B H. Where's my B H? That's where's my brazier. So B H. That's what they call it in German. Hat is hoot. The one men wear this hat is hoot. Cap, the one the kind of one I wear in when I in winter is mutse. Mutse, the one a singular west to kindergarten. Mutse. Tie is cravate. Cravate. That is tie. Cravate. Shoe. Shoe. Eh? And pant is unta hose. Pant is unta hose. You know, I told you unta is under. Hose is trouser. So the trouser you wear under, that is what they call pant. You see it, unta hose. That is the trouser you wear under. That is pants. Unta hose.